Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another 517 career mode experiment. So, I thought given the current struggles of Arsenal, who have picked up form a bit, and the failure of Tottenham to win titles or really any trophies in the last uh, few years, I thought, how would a team which combined the best of Arsenal and Tottenham, how could they do? And that's what I'm going to be doing in this uh, FIFA 17 experiment, so hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I saw that in a uh, couple comment sections, so I thought uh, that wouldn't be a bad one to do. And hope you guys enjoy this episode. So yeah. I want to show you the squad of players that I have chosen. So, obviously you got the normal Arsenal 11. So, I then chose uh, Deli Ali, Harry Kane, Hugh Ming Sun, Christian Eriksen, Kyle Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Vertonghen, and Hugo Lloris. And I will show you the updated uh, formation in a minute or two. So now this is the updated team. I've changed uh, formation around. So we five one one. So we got Hugo Lloris in the back. He's going to replace um, Petr Cech as he's younger, a year younger. So he is, uh, his stats are less likely to decrease over the course of the season. Uh, Czech obviously is going to be on goal. He's a good player, but he's going to decrease with age. Uh, then we got uh, Toby Alderweireld, Shrukdan Mustafi, and Kostjelny in the back. Then we got Kostanti Kazorla and Aaron Ramsey in uh, central defensive midfield. We got uh, Ozil in the cam spot. He can play left wing? What? But yeah, um, Alexis Sanchez uh, is going to be in that sort of left midfield role. Uh, obviously he's uh, quite the player, Alexis Sanchez is. So he's going to be very important for the team. Then uh, Christian Eriksen, one of the most promising players on Spurs. Um, <coughs> he's occupying the right midfield spot. He's a great crosser and passer of the ball. Four star skills and can play either uh, wing or midfield place in case needed. Then you got a uh, Deli Ali in the um, center forward sort of position. Uh, him and more so it's going to be the fact that he'll grow over a season a lot because he has like 88 or 89 potential. So that's why I'm choosing to put him in there. Three star, three star. He plays so many positions. And then obviously Harry Kane up top. Talking about Arsenal's lack of uh, amazing strikers, it would never happen, but Harry Kane. At least in this experiment, is quite the player for them. He's just an amazing player. Um, as a Chelsea fan, it really sucks that Spurs have him and he's going to be in the Prem likely for a very long time. He'll be difficult to deal with, but either way, that is the team. So Bellerin and Kyle Walker on the bench. So we do have a very good um, backup um, sort of set and. Here are the players that didn't make it in, and there's no way I'm putting Jaha, Jaka in the team. He'll probably get five red cards in a game. But yeah, all we're going to do now is we are going to go... We're going to simulate all the way until the 1st of January. See you then. Either way, so uh, there's a bunch of contracts basically we had to give out because the board or nobody had done anything about it so all of them have accepted the offers so that's good to see as they'll be there um, take a look at our spot in the league uh, we are currently top with 44 points we're eight points above Chelsea so we are uh, really doing well there uh, in the AFL Cup we somehow did not make it through so that's a little bit disappointing but really not the end of the world. And obviously, like I mentioned before, in the Prem, we're leading by... Yeah, we're leading by 8 points. 45 points now. Come on. 
Never said this before. Arsenal. By the way, um, for some reason, the game didn't place us in the Champions League, so, um, yeah, we're going to simulate to um, the end of the year, and then I will do a second season because of the fact that the game seemed to forget that Arsenal are actually in the Champions League, which is kind of mystifying. At the end of the season, taking a look at the table, we have won the Premier League. 18 points ahead of the nearest competition. That is very good for Arsenal and really should be uh, easy enough for a squad of that quality. And um, yeah, so Arsenal also managed to win the FA Cup, so they basically did the double. So pretty good season for them. So. Now let's take a look at the team now. So Harry Kane has gone up to an 87. He's really been uh, pretty decent this season. Um, take a look at some of the upgrades. Yep. Ali's gone up. Ericsson's gone up by three. Wow. That's pretty good for Ericsson. Uh, Kazorla's gone down by two. Wilshire will be coming back next year. Sanchez is on great form. Then uh, any growth, Hyunmin Song is up to an 82. Walker is up to an 83. Check is down to an 87. So take a look more at the squad report. Just really fully go through this and see who did the best. Uh, so Hugo Lloris played in 37 Premier League games, tw 17 clean sheets. Alder Vireld, 16 clean sheets in 27 games. Mustafi, uh, 15 clean sheets in 28 games. Laurent Koscielny only played 22 Prem games and got uh, 10 clean sheets. And then Aaron Ramsey, a goal and 4 assists, uh, and 9 clean sheets there. Santi Cazorla only played 3 games, though. Christian Eriksen was really good in the Premier League. 20, only 27 appearances, 12 goals, and uh, in the Prem, that's pretty darn good. Mesut Ozil, um, not the best form. I don't know why he's not playing too much. Uh, Alexis Sanchez, 19 goals in 38 Premier League games. That is really good. Deli Ali. Okay, is this thing on drugs? Like, like, are you kidding me? Why is Deli Ali not playing? Well, Harry Kane's been horrible. I'm gonna have to drop Harry Kane. One goal in 26 Prem games. I can understand why Deli Ali is annoyed, because why you sh he should be playing more than three freaking games. But Hyung Ming Sun, 13 goals and 8 assists. Wow. I have to admit, that's pretty good. Uh, Jan Vertonghen played a lot of games. Uh, Granit Jaha. Okay, why? I did not say for you to play that many games. Okay. But he was good. Four goals, six assists. So he was uh, actually better than I expected. And, uh... Yeah, a couple of these players, like, I wish you could put instructions on not to play them, because I really wanted those players in the starting lineup to play pretty much all the games, but a couple of players are returning. Uh, Jack Wilshere has done really well, so he's definitely going to be coming in back and getting a spot. And, uh, yeah, really just going to take this team into the next season, and then see how we can do uh, in the next year. So either way, uh, this is the look of the team as we get into the second season. So uh, the new addition to the team, Jack Wilshere, uh, came back from his loan in Bournemouth in real life, very unlucky, uh, just recently got injured a broken leg, so uh, it's a shame to see with a great talent like him. Uh, but not too many changes to the overall team, but seriously, if Deli Alli get, doesn't get more than three Premier League games, uh, not going to be very happy. And, uh, other than that, uh, Petr Cech down to an 87 rating. And one or two other players returning from loan. Including Wojciech Chesney. But, um, time to take the steam, uh, into January. And see how we are doing. But let's just actually, I'm going to simulate September. August or something because I want to see and make sure that um, the game actually puts us in the Champions League this time because 
yeah, I kind of forgot to do that, and that did kind of mess up the experiment a bit, but on the plus side, it does kind of allow you to do a second season. So, in the Premier League, we are <clears throat> leading the league with 34 points. We won the Community Shield 2-1. to one. In the EFL Cup, we are in the semi-finals versus Watford. And now in the Champions League, how did we do? We managed to grab a spot. Ooh, versus Juventus. That is going to be tough. But let's celebrate the success of the moment. Arsenal have a six-point uh, lead with a game in hand. Now finally, let's go, and the experiment will end after we go and we see what happened in the Prem, the Champions League, the FA Cup, and the EFL Cup. See you in June. <coughs> so now we're at the end of the second season, and you're wondering, why is there a 56 uh, rating? Well, if you take a look at it, uh, we did win the league. Back-to-back -back wins for Arsenal. Uh, and yet again, we scored the most goals in the Premier League. Uh, so, though things kind of went downhill, we lost in the round of 32. We didn't even make it into the, the round of 16, so that's not good. Uh, we did win the EFL Cup, though, so in fairness, not bad. But in the Champions League, we did exit in the round of 16 to Juve. We uh, beat them, <coughs> lost to them, won uh, nothing, lost to Juventus 2-1 in the first leg, and then uh, drew 2-2. So Juventus went through. In the end, Liverpool. Liverpool won the Champions League. Wow. That's quite something, but not the great season. However, Sanchez did score an incredible 17 goals, so. So, uh, Christian Eriksen got 14 goals this year, so that's a solid total. Wow. 30, 22 goals and 9 assists for Sanchez. He was insane. 30 goals in total. Uh, at least Deli Ali got uh, more playing time this year, so. Uh, the board apparently uh, gained a head. Harry Kane. Man, this guy's kind of a disappointment. Like, I don't know. Uh, Bellerin didn't play a single game. So, uh, Hyung Ming Son, uh, not as good as last year, but seven goals. So, El Nenny did play 32 Premier League games, only one assist. Francis Coquelin. Also played 36 Prem games, and he only got one goal there. Chesney played some more of the Premier League games, and Santi Zorla is really dropping down in terms of form. But yeah, that's the end of the experiment, so relatively successful, I'd have to say, because we didn't advance too far in the Champions League, but in fairness, in the first season, for some reason, we didn't get a chance. And then we did lose to Juventus, so that's not exactly shameful. Plus, back-to-back -back lead title wins with Arsenal and H FA Cup in the first year. I'd have to say that's a very successful experiment. And if you enjoy this sort of uh, content, feel free to subscribe. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace!